Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. The big chill isn't letting up. Wind advisories and warnings are in effect from Ventura into the high desert and the Inland Empire and all the way to the coast. And it's going to be cold, very cold again. A youth soccer referee in Orange County is behind bars tonight facing charges of child molestation. Two boys have come forward with allegations that led to his arrest. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely reports. Investigators believe more victims are out there. Arrests have been made in last week's takeover robbery at a Nordstrom Rack store in Westchester. More than a dozen employees were held hostage during that incident. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez spoke with LAPD Chief Charlie Beck about the suspects behind the crime. Now, the flu vaccine is about 67% effective, and if you come down with the flu after getting the shot, symptoms, symptoms rather, are usually milder. The 16-year-old boy accused of shooting a classmate last week at Taft Union High School pleaded not guilty today. Prosecutors say they will try Brian Oliver as an adult. Disheartening statistics show that prescription drug abuse is such a problem here in L.A. County that drug overdose is now the third leading cause of injury or death action film. Arnold Schwarzenegger is ready for his close-up and he's taking down the bad guys with Johnny Knoxville. KCAL 9 Entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez is live. Soraya, right, thank you. Freeze and wind warnings extend from Ventura to the high desert and the Inland Empire all the way to the coast. KCAL 9's Juan Fernandez shows us the conditions in Fontana. Stacy, thank you. The 16-year-old boy accused of shooting a classmate last week at Taft Union High School pleaded not guilty today. Prosecutors say they will try Brian Oliver as an adult. For decades, Lance Armstrong has denied doping, but the disgraced cyclist just changed gears and has admitted tonight he used performance-enhancing drugs and has reportedly agreed to testify against people who knew about his doping. KCAL 9's Bagad Shaban has more on Armstrong's admission to Oprah Winfrey. A teenager is alive tonight thanks to some New York City cops who flex their muscle lifting a taxi and then pulling him out from under it. KCAL 9's Lena Wen shows us the amazing rescue. The teenager trapped under the taxi is hospitalized tonight in critical condition. Ahead here at 10, we've got... The Dave, thank you. If you want to feel a little less guilty about eating Girl Scout cookies, try the new mango cream cookies. Not only is it the first tropical fruit-flavored cookie from the Scouts, it's packed with vitamins. The creamy vanilla and coconut filling contains a mix of B vitamins plus A, C, D, and E. But don't get too excited because one serving, which is about three cookies, still contains about 180 calories and 7 grams of fat. That I'm gonna stay. I'm, I'll be down there with Pat. Oh, that's right. Do you want to take ride a down ride? The, Can you give me a ride down there? I can't wait to see that story <laughs> yeah. myself. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant you were gonna be down.